we put this together oh god uh 25 years ago you know the this coming year and uh uh, we just done it, you know, so that we could play what we wanted to play the way we wanted to play it. They put my name, you know, in front of it. It's Mike Carroll and Arclight, so that they've got somebody to blame. Yeah. We can't. I met Mike years ago, just playing in a local band, you know, and then I've been abusing Fenders and Gibsons and Paul Reed Smiths and just about any other kind of, you know, six-string instrument that you know that I can for God. 50 years. Ah, Mike Marine, I'm the bass player, vocal. Do a little of it all. Back in the day, I used to do high harmony a lot, but uh, that was back in the day. We were doing a country project, you know, country music thing, and then we realized that, uh, you know, we had similar interest in the rock and roll part of it, so we just started on the side, we would do the rock and roll thing, and then just came about from there. The, you know, the newest addition that we've got, you know, uh, to this bunch is uh, you know, Muddy Wells, our, you know, uh, our child prodigy slide guitar player extraordinaire. This, you know, this kid came from the bluegrass world and he's just a monster player. And he decided, well, he's gonna, you know, uh, <clears throat> he's gonna learn to play electric guitar because he came to see us when he was a kid. Uh, kids were running around uh, with a little Mike Carroll and Art Light 72 Hours record. I said, here, man, you gotta check these guys out. So we went and saw them at the Kudzu Festival in Dalton when I was, I don't know, maybe 15, 16. So, yeah, I used to pay to see these guys years ago. He's a name that uh, you will hear some more of. I don't know if it'll be with us because we're getting old, but Muddy Wells. I'm not sure that that's his real name, but uh, you know, what we, we don't question him too much. You know, I, I think he's he may be in hiding for some reason. I'm not sure. came up and done the tour of uh, Echo Mountain here, which is absolutely incredible. And, uh, you know, we got out and we're standing in the parking lot and it's kind of like, you know, th this is really cool. It's just, you know, the, the vibe of the whole place is, you know, it just makes you want to be here. You know, so, yeah. I noticed that Julian doesn't say a whole lot, but whenever he speaks, everybody listens. So it's, yeah. Uh, the songs that we're recording today, uh, some of them go back over 40 years. And then some of them we've put together in the past month. Uh, when you have the quality of players uh, we've been exposed to, it's, we get to go around the country and we can pick and choose and bring people in and get with a core that's been together a long time. And 
it, all, it always seems to work. So. After 25 years, you know, uh, together, you know, we're all a little bit insane, but we're all insane in the same frequency, you know, so it, it, it works out. You saying you bought into crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, as you know. Once we get people paying attention, it's kind of like, yeah, okay. You know, feel the hair come up on the back of your neck, and you're like, yeah, this is, you know, this is why we're still doing this, you know, at our age. We're, uh, we're all over 21. Attitude mainly, I guess, but music, you know, it covers, it covers everybody all the time. It doesn't matter what mood you're in, so that bridges a big gap with us, because we speak the language of music, and then people are hungry. So, you know, it uh, it keeps everything alive. That's that's the yin and the yang. It's just rock and roll. <laughs>